Hey everybody, my name is April and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So glad to see everyone. And today we're going to talk about Pop Shop Live. Um, if you haven't heard about Pop Shop Live, it's really like a live Instagram sale or a live Facebook sale, but it's all on one app. And a lot of people that do Instagram Live or Facebook Live sales are on this app. A lot of um, great Disney merch people that do pins um, and stuff like that. I originally kind of heard from it from my good friend Karen at Disney Inside Andy. I have her linked up above and later in this video I'll have the link of her video talking about Pop Shop Live and what she bought from them and you can check that out too. Um, in full disclosure I ended up getting a message from Alex from Pop Shop and he was talking about you know we would like to partner with you and stuff and um, give you a gift card for you to kind of try out our app. And I said, yeah, sure, why not? I was a little bit on the iffy side about it because you never know about people. It's um, sometimes it's a little safer than sorry, but um, I saw Karen's video and I was like, okay. And then a couple of my friends were talking about it too. And um, I know they're gonna be posting their hauls as well. I'm not a huge pin collector. And all I really knew that is they had pins. But once I got into the app, I noticed they had so much more. They had tons of Funkos, they had fantasy pins, they had graphic tees. It took me a little while to find the graphic tees. <laughs> and honestly, I found the graphic tees after I spent my um, my gift card. And I was kind of like, mm, darn. Because if you know me, you know I love a good graphic tee. Honestly, I love graphic tees. But um, I did get some great stuff and I did buy some pins. I'm not much of a pin collector, but I bought some pins for a couple friends. I um, bought pins for Emma. Emma is starting out her pin collection. Um, I bought Funkos. I bought one for me for Christmas that I'll wrap up. But the other ones are for my fiance who's also a Funko collector. So I bought Christmas gifts and like gifts here and there and stuff and I thought I would show you guys the haul. First shop I ordered from, and I'm trying to find a card. Um, it's from Discount Disney Pin Trading. It's, um, Jenny, she does have a Facebook group. There is her card. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but she's also on Pop Shop, and she had a, like, a really good category in, like, her non-live sale, and I ended up not shopping with her live. Just sitting there kind of looking at the app, and found that you can actually shop without having to do a live sale. Not everyone has like a category where you can do that, but some do and you kind of shop with what they have in their their shop and stuff like that. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> but I shopped with her mainly through that. And one thing you will not see in this, I bought a 25 pin advent calendar for Emma. We did open that up in a like separate video that will be coming in a couple days and um instead of doing an advent the bag came in on like december 2nd so i decided to go ahead and let her open them all she's really excited about that 25 pins for 75 dollars so that was like three dollars a pin so i thought that was a great way to like bulk up her collection and have things that she can maybe trade in the parks or with people online that um can get her pin training started because she's really loving pins right now but this is the rest of it stay tuned seriously for those pins because she really loved it so um first thing oh i bought a couple things for me okay um first thing that i picked up was this um keychain hedgewidge and he's flocked and he's just so darn cute. I've already shown it to Emma. I said, this is actually an early birthday present. I thought you can put it on your backpack. And she said, no, he's going in my Barbie house. It was $10. So that's, um, I mean, that's a fairly good price for something that I haven't seen in a while. Not seen necessarily these in a long, long time. And it's like the Loki mini keychains. Um, I bought one for me and I bought one for my sister. Um, if you're new here, you don't know. Me and my sister have like a close Thor Loki type relationship. We actually have keychains that say, let's do get help. And um, her says, I'm not doing get help. But 
I I love these. I do collect Loki Funkos, so I did buy one for myself, but I bought one for her too because she is my Loki. And this is like the original Loki costume, which is awesome. So these were like seven or eight dollars a piece, which is not bad at all, especially with him and his original costume because you cannot find that. Or at least I can't. I'm get out some pins that I picked up from her. Um, I picked up this My First Disney Visit, or Walt Disney World Visit. Um, Emma went on our first trip this year, if you're new here. Um, I did not get her a pin while we were there because she didn't show interest in pins until after we came back. So, um, when I saw this on there, I was like, this is perfect. Um, I have a collection of pins to give to her for Christmas, and this will be going in there to give to her, just to kind of have memories of her first trip. So there's that one. I believe that one was $6.50, which is a great buy for um, pins. This one, I believe, was 5 or 6 and it's just a Donald getting angry pin. Um, my fiancé really, really loves Donald, and so I've been randomly picking up him like Donald themed things. You'll kind of see that in this box later on too. So I picked that up for him. And he does collect pins. Um, these next three are for my friend Jake. I'm not sure if he has these. And if Jake, you don't want the surprise for him, kind of click off for a few seconds. Um, I picked him up a tailspin pin. Not sure if he has it, but if anything, he can use these to like embroider some ears. He has um, been making some ears as lately that are fantastic. I believe his shop is called Mouse Ear Gear. I will link his shop down below. Um, but I thought he could use that. So these next pins I kind of bought him because it's from that Renaissance era of Disney. And um, honestly, he is the most sweetest friend but I love it when he's a little salty so I bought him the set of sweet and salty pins and there's Ariel that's the sweet and then of course um, Ursula is salty and then I had three dollars left on my gift card and I saw this and <laughs> I just picked him up an Alice in Wonderland pin with um, Alice and Dinah and they're wearing masks it's like a COVID fantasy pin um, so I just kind of grabbed that for him to kind of throw in. And then the last thing I picked up, I'm only slightly disappointed in this one, but it was still a good price. And it is uh, the scrunchie set, and it's supposed to be BB-8, but um, the colors are red instead of orange. So I was slightly disappointed in um, that. But if anything, he's like a dark side BB-8 maybe. I don't know. But I'll still wear it. I still really, really like it. And... Um, I love having scrunchies on my wrist, especially in Disney, because I always randomly throw up my hair and all that stuff, and I mean, I can have a little set of ears, or Emma could even wear it, so. That is my haul from Ginny from Discount Disney Pins, so go check her out. She had some amazing pins. After her live sale, she even had even more, um, but I just kind of shopped while I had a minute with thing. So the second um, shop that I shopped with was Fortress um, Toys and Games. It might be Fortress Solitude. Their sticker is on the box, but I just ordered two pops from them, and they're for my fiance. He um, he collects movies and WWE um, Funkos, and I'm trying to think if there's another like he just it's mostly movies and WWE Funkos, but. Oh, and the Luchador Marvel ones. He does have those too. The movie, he wanted to bulk up his Christmas collection, and um, I consider this a Christmas movie. If Die Hard's a Christmas movie, this is a Christmas movie. And it is from Gremlins. And it is the Gremlin and the 3D. You can get Gizmo. I wish I would have found Gizmo, but I didn't find Gizmo. This one I bought, and it's the last Funko. I just bought him a Stone Cold Steve Austin with the belt. I believe this one was 15. And um, I kind of, like in passing, I, I gave him four uh, WWE stars to pick from, and he picked Stone Cold out of The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and um, someone else. But um, 
He picked Stone Cold. So we're going to stick with Stone Cold. There's a reflection. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah. And he has the belt in there. So I know he'll enjoy this. And it'll be great in his collection. Culture Girl Flare. So, um... I shopped some fantasy pins on there. They had um, some really cool Star Wars ones, and I was looking for like a little extra gift for a friend. And so, when I saw these fantasy pins, I knew she wouldn't have them. And so, with um, Culture Girl um, Flair, they had blind bags. It was um, blind bags just like this, and you got three pins in it. And then um, I bought. It was three pins for 15 and then I bought another pin for like five dollars six fifty somewhere around there um, to kind of go with it but when I opened my package I had more than what I ordered so I just thought that was amazing thank you guys for bulking me up some of these things are like extra great um, they came with some stickers so people want to give them to and then in the blind bag and I was hoping to get at least one of these in the blind bag. I was looking for Ahsoka pins for my friend Ojana Claire. <laughs> and um, I don't care to show these now because I actually sent out her box already. And these will just kind of come as an added bonus sometime when I like ship again. And I, that was the first pin they pulled out. And it is gorgeous. And it, like, it's a huge pin. It's a huge pin. And it's just Ahsoka, Ahsoka in all her glory. And I know Ojana Claire will love it. So, um, that's the first one they pulled out. I was like, yes, thank you. Because they had a blind bag that had all Ahsoka pins in it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I would love some Ahsoka pins. Do you have a genre there? Um, wasn't all Ahsoka, but we did get one. Um, then there is this Magical Silhouette series. And they said something about Dumbledore. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell. But, um, there's another fantasy pin. And then this one is really, really cool. Um, and it was this fantasy pin. And it's um, from the third movie. <laughs> I can't remember the third movie. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the prequels. But um, it's just when Obi-Wan and Anakin are fighting on, like... Even, it's gone out of my brain but it's an awesome awesome pin <laughs> um i'll probably hand this down to a friend and then the other pin i bought was this pin and oh my gosh it is beautiful look at that ahsoka pin it, so that's the one good thing about fantasy pins they um you know that people are less likely to have them and if someone really appreciates a character like Ahsoka. I know Ajana Claire loves Ahsoka. Um, she's not necessarily going to trade these away and they're really unique and she may not have these. So I that's why I really wanted to shop fantasy pins for her. Because there are like two added bonuses. This is just like a pirate's pin and I'm a huge pirate's fan. <laughs> I want to make some pirate um, ears and kind of put that in the middle or put it somewhere. It's just like it's a medallion. There's like there's the ship, and there's like the skull, and the trip. This Empire Strikes Back corn, which that's my fiance's favorite film. So I'll probably just put this in a little package for him with some of his other stuff. It's Boba Fett on one side, and then it says Empire Strikes Back on the other. So I know he'll like that. And with Boba Fett, um, the series coming out, the book of Boba Fett coming out, that is perfect. About the pop. And I really love their popped pricing and stuff like that. Um, I got a note that says, thank you for making a purchase with, on our Pop Shop live feed. I hope that our packages got to you one piece. Of course they did. In addition, we've added a pop protector to ensure the protection of your Funko. They did, which is like above and beyond, which made me so happy. Um, be sure to check us out and follow us on Instagram at About Pop for future giveaways, winner takes all raffles, upcoming live shows, pop shop live events nights at 8 p.m. Pacific. Yeah. So, I, uh, you know, it's always later for me. You can also visit our online shop at AboutThePop.com for more rare finds exclusive Funkos. So, 
that's a little bit about their shop. I really love their Funkos. They had great deals. And then on Black Friday, they had 30% um, off of Funkos. So we picked up some Funkos. This one I picked up, I picked up for my fiance and it is an Amazon exclusive. Um, he does not have Undertaker at all. And this one, the fact that it's the glow in the dark Undertaker makes it even better. And um, I just thought it was really, really cool. I know he'll love it. I mean, the regular one is like all right, but glow in the dark is super cool. So I picked that one up for him. I believe this one was 15. No, it was 20. And then I got 30% off of that. So that's uh, an excellent buy. And it did come with the pop protector, which I appreciate so, so much. I said it earlier, I collect Loki Funkos. And so, the only Loki, Loki Funko he had on his shop was President Loki, and it was $15, but I got 30% off of it, and there's so many glares going on. I'm sorry, um, but he looks great. I'm so excited. Ugh. My good friend um, Kaylee sent me a President um, Loki shirt, <laughs> so I knew I had to have a President Loki Funko, and he just, he looks great. He's in the pop protector case. I'll wrap him up and open him up on Christmas as a Christmas gift to myself. Five bucks, and then, um, 30% off, so I believe it ended up being 21, and this one even came in a pop protector case, too, and it's Donald Duck on the Casey Jr. Circus train, and it's, um, the Disneyland 65, 65th anniversary, and I just thought, I, we probably won't collect the whole Funko set, but I know he's really, really going to love this one, and I love the vintageness of this one. It looks so good, and to get it for that good of a price, I think is excellent, and I think he's going to love it. He really doesn't know about this one unless he watches this video, so I'm going to have to tell him, please don't watch this video. I thought the um, experience was fantastic. You kind of interact a little bit. Um, there towards when I was going into like a few pin cells and stuff like that. I saw um, Kami from Keys of Disney. She's also posted about Pop Shop on her Instagram page. I saw Karen shopping. I saw Lauren shopping. I saw Louisa shopping. And we were all kind of shopping together. It was like an Instagram live sale. And there were so many things to choose from. So Solitude wasn't necessarily a bad shop experience but i did find those pops later on during the day for a cheaper price which bummed me just a little bit um so my suggestion would be before you necessarily buy go out and kind of watch a few sales look at a few stores and stuff like that make sure you can get what you get um get what you want to get like I said, I was bummed that I saw those graphic tees for like $6 later on because I would have bought so many graphic tees for $6. Um, but even with Fortress Solitude, with those pops being a little bit more expensive, they got to me safely. Um, about a pop went above and beyond when they sent in pop protectors and giving me 30% off too. Um, Disney discount pins, I mean, sent everything that they... Um, those 25 pins were fantastic. Um, please continue. Um, wait for a couple days to see that one. You'll see Emma just in pure delight because she got so many pins. Um, the Cultural Core Fair um, pins were fantastic. They're beautiful. They sent me extras. Just it, I, everything with Pop Shop was fantastic. It got here like that. It got here in less than a week. Um, we're supporting small shops by going on Pop Shop Live. Um, will I shop with them again, even if I don't have a gift card? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, it may not be like all the time. It may be like every couple months when we have a little bit like um, left over in the budget. Maybe I'll buy Emma a couple pins. Maybe I'll buy a couple graphic tees for myself type of thing. I will absolutely shop with them again. I thought they're amazing. Um, Everything was great. Everything was great. I loved it. And it was a way for me to buy Christmas presents on Black Friday while sitting at home. <laughs> and I'm cleaning and stuff like that. So it was kind of, it was nice to be able to shop with friends and find all the nerdy type things. But thank you, Alex, so much for offering the gift card. And thank you, Karen, for putting out your video, for letting me know that it was safe to do so. Um, 
she actually got a really awesome Millennium Falcon gingerbread pin that I'm super jealous about. I'm not a huge pin collector, but that one was like super awesome. But that is it for me today. Comment down below and let me know if you're going to do Pop Shop Live. I think you should. If you are a collector of things, pins, Funkos, you like graphic tees, uh, you like fantasy pins, go check them out. I think it's a great app to look into and yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you real soon.